Hi, I'm Dave of Bourbon Astro, and today I'm going to unbox, literally unbox, a flip flop like competitor from Deep Sky Dad. Well, this just literally just arrived from um, DHL. This is in a plain box. Now you may be wondering why I ordered something like a flip flap, if you're not at all familiar with it. It's actually a, oops. Okay. Well, all right. That was pretty simple. Huh. No instructions, just wrapped up in paper and here it is. Essentially what this is, sorry, I thought it was gonna be more involved than it turned out to be. What this essentially is, is this is a, a flat. This is, a flat panel that's designed to go on the end of your scope and it can come open and it can close and when it closes you can set it up uh, to turn on and you can do flats with it I don't know if there's any batteries in here it's like I said it's from Deep Sky Dad they're located out of believe it or not Croatia but uh, FLO, uh, First Light Optics, has a lot of their stuff. And so I just went ahead and I ordered this directly from Deep Sky Dad. And here it is. So this Flat Master, as you can see here, there is a, uh, a screw right here. You loosen this thing up, you put this at the end of your telescope you tighten that thing back down and then you plug this thing in it has a USB it looks like a USB-C adapter right there and then there's a 12 volt adapter right there and you hook it up and then you can go onto the website and download an ASCOM driver for this thing and you have then a flat panel that at the end of your session you can have it at least that's my hope is that I can get Nina to close the flap and turn on the panel and do my flats so that way I'm not getting up in the morning and having to go out and do flats rather the flats can all take place automatically at the end of my imaging session that's the goal anyways so now, the next step is to install this puppy onto my telescope. Okay, well here's my Deep Sky Dad flat panel attached to my scope here. Let me come around here to the side here so you can see it. I'm inside of my office, it's cold outside right now. So here's my Astrotech 80 EDT and here's the lens hood. And you can see that there's a ring here that clamps and it has a screw right there and that's how you tighten this thing so that it fits snugly. You don't want to make it too tight, but you want it tight enough so that it will hold. This piece right here appears to be, if you will, kind of a piece that puts a little bit of distance between the end of your dew shield and where the flat panel is, the flat panel is just on the inside of this third piece here. So you see there's three sections here. And this section here fits onto the main body and then the flat panel piece here. So this first piece is the ring which attaches the whole thing to the dew shield. This second piece here is what holds and clamps the body here you've got the, your electronics and you've also got here at this end here 
your stepper motor which opens and closes this thing and then you got your flat panel here itself and you can see here I can move it a little bit without too much and of course you got the cabling the wires the positive and the negative that come in and these supply electricity to the flat panel and then of course this is where your electronics is which controls the flat panel and controls um, not only the brightness and whether or not the panel comes off and on but it also opens up the flat panel as well and you can see here that there are three ports here the first one here is for a temperature sensor if you have one um, the second one here is power it's 12 volt DC and again it's the I believe it's a 2.5 millimeter uh, 5 millimeter connector 12 volt I have it plugged into my uh, Pegasus Astro pocket power box advanced and also there's a mini PC port that uses a mini PC plug. Let me go ahead and unplug this puppy. But there she is, mini PC plug. And that's how we are able to control this thing through USB. So here the flat panel is opening. It's pretty straightforward, just press button. And here the flat panel is lighting up and again you can adjust the brightness settings. And then here again the flat panel is closing. It's pretty straightforward. We're out here at the DeepSkyDad.com website and I've gone to my specific flat panel. Uh, they call this a motorized flat panel. I'm never really too sure what to call this thing, but it's called a motorized flat panel. What's kind of funny is in the box, again, you get the flat panel and then there's a panel heater if you choose to and then there's the optional uh, power cables if you choose to. I just chose the flat panel and that's exactly what I got was just the flat panel. But anyways, again, the basic specs here, it's pretty straightforward. You And I've talked about most of these things. There are some options. There is an optional dew heater that you can have built into this thing that would go into this red section right here which is actually black when you actually get it they just have it red so it's easy here to identify you can have a built-in dew heater and I've talked about a lot of these different pieces and parts and you can see here it is ASCOM supported there is an ASCOM driver it's also Indy supported which is pretty good for those of you who want Indy support there is definitely LED brightness control. If I remember right from my Nina settings going in, uh, I get it anything from zero to like 2000. And the servo motor here has 270 degrees of motion. It has a built-in heater, which is optional. It's pretty lightweight. It's 300 grams. Definitely is lightweight. And of course the power is not, it's not included. You're gonna have to get your own power cord and have your own power source. In my case I used my 12 volt system from my Pegasus Astro systems on my power box and I don't have any issues with it. And again they've got power cables here that you can also purchase if you so desire. So that's that's pretty much the specs out there and then if you go out here to software and hardware you can see there's the micro USB serial driver and there's the runtime, and you'll need that .NET 5 runtime for it to run. And then there's the ASCOM driver, there's some firmware, and there's an ND driver right there, and a control panel. So I hope that you found that helpful. I've already taken the flat panel out for a couple of nights, photographing different things, and I've been really pleased with the device so far it hasn't caused me any issues I've been able to set up my Nita sequences so that it will automatically take my flats and my dark flats right after my imaging session I get up in the morning and I check and there's my lights and there's my flats and there's my dark flats and it's all seamless 
If you want more helpful things for astrophotography, there's more videos here that you can go and check. And until next time, clear skies and happy guiding.